Okay, so uh, now we're going to talk about paragraphing and sections. Uh, so again, here we have our uh, LaTeX template. Okay, and uh, everything that all the text that we're going to put is between begin document and end document. And so pretty much, uh, you know, the first few tutorials we're going to be focusing on, you know, if you want to use LaTeX and you have no need for fancy graphs or charts or, or using mathematical symbols, uh, then in fact the program is very easy to use. And we're going to teach you within, with this next tutorial, you know, some of the basics like paragraphing and sections. Okay, so here we have our title, here we have you know, the author, which is me, and uh, we're going to compile this, and here we go. Okay, we have our, our file. So, uh, let's start with the, the basic, which is, uh, I want to make a section, I want to call it the uh, introduction. Then the command is very intuitive, okay, so you have backslash section, that says, backslash is used to say, okay, we have a command, for example, backslash make title, but when the command requires um, you know, some sort of input. In this case, what's the name of the section going to be, right? You use curly brackets for that input, okay? So now I have my section one. Uh, I can create a subsection intuitively by using the same command but putting sub in front, in, in front of section. And then, you know, you can continue in this fashion as much as you want to create sub subsections and sub sub subsections. And I think you can do it as many times uh, as you want. Or maybe sub sub subsection is, is not well defined. Okay, so you can, you can do sub subsection. I'm sure there's a way to do sub sub subsections. But again, this is something that I, what I would recommend is, is, is you go on Google and you ask Google uh, how to create sub, sub, subsections in LaTeX. Okay, this is what I do every day when I, when I use LaTeX. And you learn something new uh, every day and you also learn how many people are using LaTeX and how many people have these questions, the same exact questions as you. Okay, so you know, the solution was posted below. Uh, okay, so anyway, I'm sure we can find, yeah, you see here he's found a way to do sub, 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 subsections, etc. Okay, so you can always, Google is really your friend when, when using LaTeX. Now, uh, another nice feature, another in, uh, simple command is table of contents. Okay, so if I want a table of contents, uh, you have to do it twice. Uh, it's just a part of uh, some strange feature. but what you're going to get is something like this and it's going to be based it's going to give you uh, all of your uh, sections and the page number so if i create a new section let's say the body section uh, what we're going to get is you see in so again you have to do it twice so now here comes the new section and in the table of contents you have here okay so for example if you do page break, it's going to put the table of contents on its own page. Okay, and oops, I should put it here. Okay, so again, this is a lot of playing around. You know, I put I put this command page break. It means start a new page. Put it in the wrong spot, and then you realize that when you look at the the results, and you say okay. Okay, so that's sectioning. It's very easy, very intuitive. Okay. So now uh, the, the second uh, issue is, you know, you could say, okay, so I have two paragraphs. Now, uh, in LaTeX, okay, if you just write them like this, so here's the end of my first paragraph, here's the start of my second paragraph. If there's no uh, physical space between them, if you don't hit enter, it's going gonna, it's gonna to wrap the text, okay? So it won't be a new paragraph. If you hit enter, what you're going to get is... So now I have a space between here. What I'm going to get is the indent here, but no space between these two. Okay, so maybe you want a space between these two. You just put double backslash. Double backslash is going to give you the space uh, exactly like this. Okay, now if you want, uh, let's say, uh, a space but without an indent, uh, now that I put the space here, let's see, what I'm going to get is a new paragraph without the indent. If I put 
two spaces, I'm going to get a new paragraph with this space. So I put, you know, four backslashes. So each each one, so it's two backslashes is the command. So if you put double, you're going to get double the command. So now this is, you have the space, but you don't have the indent. Okay. And then if I put, uh, so the last one is, okay. So now I, you see, I now I have two spaces with the indent. Okay. So this is just basic way to, you know, work out uh, your spacing in the paragraph, so just so that you, you get off to a good start. Also, you have, you know, there are many ways to do the same thing in this program, and that, you know, that will also be a reoccurring theme. There's, a, there's 50 different ways to make tables, and depending on the table you're making, you know, you may prefer one, one uh, way to do it over another. And, you know, so for example here, if I want no indent, I can just write no indent.